Welcome back to Live With, brought to you by Species Nutrition. Visit speciesnutrition.com. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today's guest is an old friend of the show. We got him back here for an update on what's going on in his life. He's the belt man, Steve Cardillo. What's up, Steve? Hey, Dave. Thanks for having me on the show again. Went really well last time. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, you, you, people just don't stop asking me about the belts. And you know what? You know, you made a bunch of species belts. I see one hanging in the backdrop there, that, that green one a couple years ago, and there was a couple of them we gave out, we raffled them off, and people went nuts. And I'm, I still to this day get like five or 10 people, you know, every once in a while, every couple of months, emailing me about how they could buy one of these belts. And, um, you know, you've been doing this for, what about 25 years now, belts, custom belts? 32. 32 years. And you know 32. what? They're as popular now as they ever were. It's, it's, it's one of the few things in our industry that has maintained and that you've still held a stranglehold on. No one seems to be able to do what you do. I don't know why they don't, but you seem to still be the only game in town that does belts on a regular basis for not only top bodybuilders, but top celebrities and the like. I mean, you just you just have, that's your your niche that you carved out and no one seems to be able to, 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 to move in on you. Thank you. Um, it's just, you know, again, it comes down to persistency and um, building something that would last forever. And, you know, I was very fortunate coming out of the gate that I had all the professional wrestlers, Hulk Hogan, in the very, very beginning. They all right. wore them. So I got kind of ahead of the pack pretty quick, you know what I mean? And five years into what Michael Jordan was wearing, and we talked about it before, but, you know, when Michael Jordan wears your stuff, it's pretty significant, yeah. and it just kept rolling over and rolling over. It, it's just weird. It's like it's a very small niche, but yet, it, it, you know, you're the only one who does it. So it's like everyone who wants a new belt, you know, calls you up. You've probably yes. made belts for every single Mr. Olympia, I'm sure, in, in modern in the modern era, as well as in every division across you know the, the scope of uh, the physique world. Every uh, every Olympia since '92, every female Olympia, every physique Olympia, every bikini Olympia, every <laughs> Arnold champ for the past 30 years, every one of them. Wow. It's it's pretty uh, you know I sit back and it's kind of mind blowing. It's hard to wrap your head around it when you're looking back <laughs> at the history of it, but it's it's nice though as well. I, I, you know, it worked out well. It's cool because you kind of have contact with all these top people on a regular basis. I mean, because they obviously contact you to get the belt. I see the uh, the Phil Heath gift belt in the back. Uh, they are hanging in the wall. And, yep. you know, he's obviously going for number eight this year, which would put him in the elite, you know, class of, uh, of Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney for the only two yep. other men to, to win eight Olympias. So, I mean, you, you've done belts for the best of the best. What was the most unusual belt you've ever done? Um, I just recently I don't want I did one for the Prince of Dubai it was pretty interesting. He had a lot of stipulations on this particular belt and uh, <laughs> red inside, all kinds of stuff all over. But it was pretty cool to have someone like him. Um, obviously, when Dwayne calls the Rock, right. he has I had to do one with the uh, tattoo uh, two tattoo on it, and it was too intricate to embroider. So ironically, I just I've been after this. Um, Mural artist to the stars for like five years. I've been trying to get him to come on board to do some painting, paint the belts for me. Right. So after that, his name's Patrick Ganino. He finally, I made him, you know, after five years, I basically made him an offer you can't refuse. So he was basically the first one to do the Rocks belt, which was pretty significant. And then from there on, it's, you know, but that's prob probably the, the, the tattoo of the Rocks arm on a weight belt was pretty wild. That's awesome. Now, so you got a guy who's actually painting on the belt by hand? Yeah. Yeah, he's he, basically he's a mural artist for, he does a lot of celebrities. So right. I've been asking him for a long time if he would, you know, do some belts for me, you know, going from obviously 10 foot uh, building murals coming down to doing a small belt. So he wanted to, but he's been so busy. So after all this time, he finally said, I said, guy, I, got, I have to do the Rocks belt. You know, he's pretty, you know, important to me. <laughs> he said, no problem. So once he did that, he said, let's sit down and talk about it. We cut the deal. So what I'm going to be doing now, I just did Dennis Rodman's, Hulk Hogan. Wow. He's good. Yeah, he's going to be painting them for me. He, he, um, here's one he did for you know Dennis Rodman. I don't know if you can see it. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, all, that's all that's the painted. Rocks, right? Yeah, the Rocks back there. Then he did one like this one here. But the Rock one tattoo, he has it. I don't have that one. But then he did one with like an Armani, uh, yeah. paint, all hand painted. Yeah. All hand done. 
Uh, he did one for, this is Hulk Hogan, but what I'm going to be doing, these aren't for sale. These are just for, I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways with these. That's awesome. So, From the Rocky movie. Yeah. yeah. All pretty wild. So, you know, I'll be doing a lot. For, I'll be doing some of the money for charity. And, you know, it's just it's just more something that I had to add to the game. I'm wanting to do this for a long time. Right. But you really I want to get the right person. This guy's the guy. So now, it Steve, out well. for a custom belt like that, that's hand painted like that, I, I assume that belt's got to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, I honestly, I wouldn't even put a price on it because I'm giving them away. So oh, okay. it would be it, it would be kind of it would be kind of probably out of the ballpark, except for, you know, some celebrities. But even then, then they just want to hang them on the wall. So right. a couple of wrestlers want them. So I'm going to, you know, they're going to hang them on their wall, which over the years, sometimes that's what happens. And I try to tell the guys, hey, wear the belt. If you want another one for your wall, I'll make it for you. But the purpose of the belt is so you wear it. So right. I get them on the wall. I get them to wear them. Wherever it goes, I'm happy with it. Did you ever do a, uh, uh, I forgot to ask you, I think we did, we talked about it last time, I can't remember, I got uh, Alzheimer's now. Uh, what What did you do for the Incredible Hulk, Luke Ferrigno? You made a belt oh, for him? We made him, I, I made him for him, his kids, his wife, um, all his gimmicks. Yeah, he's been um, W, when with WBF, that was the big inaugural belt they gave him. Yeah. It's signing on. Yeah, I made I made him a lot of belts. Yeah, that's what I thought so. You know, it, 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 it's a, an amazing industry because Everyone seems to work out in the sports industry. I'm sure from football players to boxers to MMA guys to, you know, and everyone wants to have like some kind of identification tag. And let's face it, you know, you, in the gym, you can't wear your, your football jersey necessarily. You know what I mean? But you could wear a weight belt. And it's, it's, it's kind of like makes you feel special, I guess. And I think especially when guys turn or girls turn pro, it's like they want to get that like acknowledgement. And a lot of times, I'm sure you do a lot of them to say IFBB pro so-and-so or so-and-so. Yes. Um, it's kind of like a graduation certificate you're wearing on your on your back there, right? Well, that's kind of a that's kind of been a little problem where everybody wants to wait till they turn pro to get a belt, and I try to say get you know, get my belt and it'll get you to become a pro quicker. You, you got to have that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to right. get the belt. So it, it, it works out well. Luckily, there's a lot of pros now, and a lot of them need the belt, so it, it works out well. But obviously, it's going to help you. It's a tool to help you become pro. Right. You can get you know you know you know what it's all about. What was one of the like coolest nicknames that you've ever had to put on a belt that you said, "Hey, that's a pretty good nickname." Ah, uh, oh boy. Um, probably my uh, I don't know the Boston Mass is a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, a Quadzilla, obviously. Paul was sure. a freaky one. We did the logo. Those were a couple of cool ones. I did one for my nephew. The uh, we used to call him the Ralph Morel kid. That one worked out well in high school. So nice. I made some cool ones. There's, it's a great. What what is like a typical custom belt? Like the standard one cost? Like if someone wanted to purchase one from you, just out of curiosity. About uh, about about two twenty five. Okay, and, and that's reasonable. These be and these belts last forever. That's the great thing. They're indestructible. I've seen them. Well, I have a couple. They don't. They do not. You cannot. The only way you're gonna screw these belts up is you're gonna lose them. Yes, and because someone steals it. Exactly. I actually left the belt. One of the belts you gave me at, at a gym because I, I I notoriously will do a leg workout and I forget and I leave the belt there. And yes. it became the gym belt. And everyone who would come to the gym would borrow the belt. And they would all give it back because it had my name on it. So, like, you can't walk out with the belt on it. And yes. you, it's funny because no, I, I felt bad taking it back when I realized that the gym had, I had left it there because I thought it was gone. And it was a gym I didn't go to all the time. And I went there one day and I saw my belt. I'm like, holy mackerel, my belt. And they're like, well, Dave, everyone uses this belt. So I kind of left it there as like a memento. But um, yes. Your belts are, are, you can see, everyone knows it's a Cardillo belt immediately. You, you're so recognizable, your brand, that, I mean, you, if you sat down and tried to, I'm sure you didn't figure this out ahead of time, it just kind of happened, but if you would have tried to figure this out ahead of time, you never been a, would have been able to figure it out as well as you did it. No, uh, never. You know, I mean, it was just, it was just basically one belt at a time and being persistent and obviously I enjoyed doing it, so right. it really was, it's never been work for me. So not having to really work and just promote and do I, I surrounded myself with, you know, I had a Reebok deal pretty early on. So yeah. I learned a lot about marketing and, sure. um, but going back to the belt and the price, you know, a stock belt is $150. What does a pair of sneakers cost at last six months a year? Absolutely. That, it doesn't make sense to me. No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an, it's a non expense in terms of weightlifting equipment, because like I said, it lasts forever. Now, Steve, I, I've been watching your Instagram. Your, more, your Facebook page for the last number of years. And I'm always seeing you doing these, first of all, you do these workouts by the water. 
They're like these with buckets of water and all kinds of crazy equipment outside by the water. I've been seeing you do this for years. Where did that come about, these, these unusual workouts? Uh, well, the, the buckets, it all started probably when I was almost a teenager. I would go to my camp, and I didn't have any weights there, and I always wanted to, you know, I want to try to get to a gym, whatever. I was young. Right. My father would fill up five-gallon buckets with water and say, go ahead. So then as it evolved, I put it, you know, as I learned more about drop sets and stuff, I put a hole in it, and it all started from a five-gallon, two five-gallon buckets. <laughs> then later on when I, you know, had my home and I was able to put a, a gym on the dock, then I, my mind went crazy and, I'm telling you, Dave, there's nothing I've done everything yeah. training ice, and not because I designed it, but the pump you get from this <laughs> is, think about doing, think about, like, say, uh, to drain the bucket, a big bucket is 50, about 50 reps. Right. Think about 30 maximum singles, and right. then the last 20 is a pump. 30, 30 max singles out of, out of a jug. Right. It's pretty amazing. It, you you must live in a really nice area because that's a pretty big 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 dock you got there. I see. Yeah, yeah. I, I keep I keep adding a little bit a little bit more on and on, but I think I've, I've peaked out. I can get everything I need on that right now. It's beautiful. I mean, where yeah, is that located? That's up in Massachusetts, right near New Hampshire. What water what waterway is that on? It's on. A, uh, it's just on a small small little private lake. Oh, okay. Beautiful. And what was I see you squatting with these huge logs? Uh, yeah. These, where did you get those from? They're enormous. A friend, a friend of mine has a, a lumber yard and stuff, so he, he said, let's cut these so those stuff doesn't rush. So it, it started out as kind of a joke, but honestly, when, you, when you're loading the weight, I don't know what they weigh, so it really doesn't matter to me. I know it's heavy. Yeah. And then it just has like a cushion feel to it. It doesn't feel like steel. Right. You know, you, you know you're doing, it's, just, it's just, it's a weird feeling, even like when you're going from steel to rubber plates, yeah. you get that different cushion feel. The wood even feels better. They look like they weigh a million pounds. They're huge. I, I don't even know how you load them onto the bar. The bar is bending under these things. Yeah, well, you drill them out and you, you know you go with it. It works. It works. It worked out pretty well. But the, the water is the way to go. Well, what are those things? What do you? I see you got you, you're squatting with like these three humongous things on each side, and then you got chains on top of that. Well, how much weight was that? Because I've never seen a bar bend like that. It looks like there's six hundred pounds in your back. <laughs> well, the, the bar I use. The, ironically, it's a. Uh, it's, a, it's called a it's called band bell bar. It's oh. basically for kinetics. So you get that little bit of flexion in the bar. It's gotcha. really nice. I even started switching from steel to that because obviously we get older. We want to protect the joints. It's 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 better on the joints. It just has a better feel to it. Right. I'm more about now. I get a more about longevity. I want to keep it going. So I'm not so. I mean, I'm not so much into the weight as I much of trying to stay healthy and in shape <laughs> while not killing my joints. <laughs> and the great thing, <laughs> right after you do a set, you can jump right in the water and cool off, right? Ah, cool. Yeah, I do that. Do the swim. I do whatever it takes to, uh, you know, to get the good workout in. That's awesome. Now, how many pieces yeah. of equipment do you have on that dock? There's about eight eight pieces. I just keep adding. All you can do is do is knock off the stack and get the get the right jug to fit in between. Right. Load it on. Put the holes from anywhere from a dime up to a, a little less than a quarter size, so you you can regulate how quick you want the water to come out. I see one of these videos we're watching. It's like snowing out in your in your training there. You train all year round out there. Yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I have a, my gym is right off the side <laughs> of the dock. So I'll train inside, heat up in there, and then I'll come out and just, you know, honestly, once you get moving, you're sweating. It, it's it's really nice training out there in the environment. Yeah. And now, then once I get the, once the water, it's still cold, the water thaws, I can still get the water going. It's it, it's really, I mean, it's it's nice. I mean, I've done it all. I've been in gyms. But once you get outside, I mean, I look forward to getting up in the morning, going out on the dock and getting sure. some sun and training. It's just, it's just really nice. Yeah, it wakes you up to the, all that nice uh, yeah. air that comes off the water there. It's uh, invigorating, yeah, it's so to speak. But uh, yeah. how does the equipment fare in the winter there? Because you guys get a lot of snow. Well, it's just like gold. I mean, it's just like Venice Beach. Stuff stays out. It, you know, hey, Venice is probably worse because there's uh, uh, salt, so it rusts. Mine is just, it stays smooth. I throw a little WD-40 on the joints and right. on, the, you know, on the stuff, and it, it's good to go. I, I really don't have any problems. You get a little dirty from some of the stuff rusting, but... <laughs> Very, cre very creative, Steve. I love it. Thank you very much. Now, another, you know, probably one of your most successful businesses, I would say, is the ANC uh, Nutrition Store. It's, you know, I've been there before. It's a very small store, but it's a very, very busy intersection. And you guys do a ridiculous amount of business there. And I know a lot of supplement companies will will beg you to take their products in there because they know you're just going to crank a uh, you're going to crank uh, stuff out of that at that little store. How did that little place become so successful? Well, 
It started uh, 21 years ago. My nephew just was getting out of, just deciding if he was going to, you know, finish college and all. We decided, say, Pete, I'm in the industry already 10 years. Start a store. I'll help you. And it's your ball. You run with it. If you want to take it as far, you can take it as far as you want. I'll help you all the way through. So over time, you know, I, I gave my, I put my belts here as my showroom. So right. you have people coming in off the planes. I try, we try to make it like, you know, like Steve's gym in New York. When you right. come into New York, you got to go to his gym. You go to Gold's, you got to go to Venice Beach. You sure. know what I mean? So when you come into Boston, it's an environment. It's friendly. He's fun. He's out of his mind. So <laughs> the whole deal is to, you know, come in the store. You get free stuff. You get a nice feeling. You don't have to buy anything. You come in for right. a T-shirt. You're coming in from New York, wherever you're coming in from. You get It's just, it's just you know, we never, we never sold online. We stuck to the, you know, played the rules the way it was supposed to be with the industry. So all of these guys now that are whining about Amazon, you know, I hate to say calmer, but this is what's happening. You're getting a taste of what you people were doing to people like my nephew <laughs> who stuck to the rules, yeah. who sold what you gave him the right way. So now we're still here and we're going to be here because this is a unique, special, fun place to be that you can only get my weight belts here because of, you know, how we created, you know, you I deal with everybody in the industry, all the owners. Right. It, it, it's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? It's just it, so this is, you know, it's just it's just a lot of work. He's here all the time. You come in, you're going to see him. He's here. It's his store. Right. That's how you become successful. I love it because you guys got products stacked to the ceiling in there. If you guys go yes. and, and, and it can be stacked to the ceiling today and then tomorrow, it's all gone. It's amazing how exactly. fast you move stuff. Stack them high, watch them fly. <laughs> Stack them deep, sell them cheap. That's what he does. He's the man. <laughs> now That's how you got, he does it. You got a special going now. If anyone goes into the store and they buy one of your Cardillo belts, you have a product oh. that they, you give away for free. What's that deal? Let's talk to yes. me about that. Okay. So, you know, all the stuff, like he gets all of these, like slightly blemished stuff. He gets all the one-ups, all the samples. I right. can't sell them, but he can sell them. So he has, you know, you come in, you're going to get special deals from him on the belts. But the bottom line is he just did a program where he's starting to come in, buy a belt. He's going to have a product of the month. Ironically, obviously, this is your show. This <laughs> month, it's going to be, he's doing the uh, Fiberlize. I love this stuff. And, you know, it's saying a commercial, but it's going to be, you're going to be able to come in, buy mm -hmm. any belt you want, get a free product like Fiberlize right. out the door. And, you know, it's it's good for me. It's good for his customers. It's good for you as a, as a supplier. It's just good for everybody. And nobody, nobody can do it. So a free tub of fiber lies if you buy a belt. So that's a great deal. It's, it's almost worth making a trip up there. I think Jose Raymond may buy a belt from you just to get a free tub. Jose's got a lot of belts. He's the best. <laughs> and you know what I mean? The, you know, you commit, like I said, it's all, it's all about customer service. We know Amazon is killing everything, but you still want to come in. You know, when I played sports, I went into the sporting goods because I wanted to talk to the guy about sure. what's new. What, you still want that, that feeling, you know what I mean? So yep. this is the place it all happens at. And, you know, with all the specials and all the cool things, this is, you know, we want to keep it. Want to keep it. Amazon ain't going to hurt us. You're one of the few stores left, and there's a bunch out there, and I've seen those because I've made appearances at some of these stores, and I tell these guys, I say, when you, if you have a store and you service your customer and you explain to them and help them with diet and supplementation and you explain to them why they're taking the stuff that they're taking, people will buy from you and they won't yes. buy from Amazon because they want to give you the business because they're so grateful for the information that you're giving them. Because let's face it, a lot of people just start working out. They just start getting into this. They have no idea about anything. They're so overwhelmed. They don't even know what to buy from Amazon if they even, if they even could go to Amazon. So to come into a store like yours, be educated, find out what they should be using and why they're using it. They're willing to pay for that knowledge, and the way they pay for it is they they patronage they patronage you, excuse me they give patronage to your store and they purchase products from you, and I think that that's a great thing that you guys are doing, and that's I think why you're so successful. And you know, besides the customer service, he, you come in and you're looking for something. He doesn't tell you get this, get to get all these right. things. He tells you what you need to get. He could make more money by selling different things right. or whatever, but he gives you what you want because what good is a customer that you dump something on and they never come back? Right. I have guys want to order belts, X number of belts. They say, guy, you don't want extra smalls. You're not going to sell any. I could sell 100 more belts if I was just to dump belts on them and they're stuck with 100 belts. Right. What good is that to me? 
I want them to buy the belts that are going to sell and keep reordering. Right. Same thing with the customer. He feels comfortable. He comes in. Peter was a national politan champion. He's done it all. He, he's knowledgeable in what he's telling you. He gives you what you want. You're going to come back again, and he's going to get sell you more stuff. You don't have to buy it all in one day. Right. So it's trust. Trust is 21 years. I'm 32 years. You have to have a trust. You have to have loyalty, and you have to have – that's what you have to have. That's what it is. You can't just screw people. Yeah. Where do you, th- where do you see the supplement in- industry going in the next 5, 10, 20 years from now? Where, where, do you see it, it pretty much staying the same, or do you think – we're going to have less companies, more companies. What, what, what's your take? Because you have a good historical perspective because you saw it from the inception. Yes. Uh, you know, I, Amazon obviously is going to kill a lot of people. But I think they're going to kill everyone anyways. I think they're going to kill themselves eventually because we all know they're selling the stuff cheaper than what you sell it to them for. Mm-hmm. They're going through the old USA Today deal where they would sell a paper for a nickel that cost a quarter. They <laughs> got the customers. But I don't think it's going to work like that yeah. in the supplement industry. You know, I, I don't think it's going to work that way. I don't know. I, I hope that it doesn't hurt us, but you, you don't know what's going to happen. I got news for you, Steve. I think Amazon doesn't sell as cheap as some of these other websites out there that I've seen. They're pretty, they're pretty good. They're not, like, ridiculously low. Um, but I think that, you know, some of the other websites will, will be more damaging, you know, to, than Amazon will. Yeah, probably, you're probably right. But it just comes down to, like, you know, when you want to find information, what do you say? Google it. Now it's to the point where, you know, I want to get something. Where do you say? Amazon. It's just two words that are thrown out there. Right. like, Right. Well, people go there know, and they I, read I the know. reviews. But, you know, sometimes people, a lot of the bad reviews on Amazon are because of, it's, of disgruntled customers, not necessarily because a product is bad. Um, so you have right. to know how to really interpret those reviews. For me, as a guy coming up, I still like going into a store and talking to a human being in person. Yeah. And getting the information and, and, and hearing them say it to me and explain it to me, that is invaluable. And I will pay for that information every single time. Now, obviously, once you know what you want, um, you know, where do you go buy the product? Well, you know what? If someone gave me that much information and I found yes. them to be that reliable, then I'm going to give you the business because I'm not going to shop yeah. you for a dollar. I'm not going to do exactly. that. You right, know? you're loyal. That that I mean, that's that's what the that's what it's, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. You come in, you get the knowledge. You know, you, you people, but some people will sell you out for a dollar. So be it. They have to live with that. I mean, it, it, it's about again the customer service, the feeling. You, I mean, he's friends with all these people. Yeah. His customer said for years, he becomes friends. You, sure. I, I would feel horrible buying something. I know. You know, if I have a friend as a restaurant, I don't go to a different restaurant because right. I feel horrible. I'm, yeah. I feel like I'm cheating on my friend's restaurant. <laughs> That that that's kind of the that's kind of what I'm yeah. about. I'm I'm yeah. as loyal as it gets. If 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 that's what I'm about. Now, Steve, you wrote people like that. Yeah, I you, you've always been a loyal type of guy. That's just your your character. Now, Steve, you wrote a book a couple of years ago. You told us about called Teen Weightlifting, and you're making it available now on your website for free. Is that right? Yes. Well, what I did was uh, my uncle. When I first started younger, he taught me. You know, I made some mistakes. I taught my, you know, I trained. Then when my nephew came around, I started him when he was like eight years old. The book is kind of written about him. It's called How a Champion is Made. So back in the early, I'm mean, talking before computer and uh, putting images, sure. I actually documented his training, his records, all his things from the time he was 12 to the time he was 16 and a half. Wow. So I wrote the book on experience, my experience, making my mistakes, trying to take the my mistakes away, give them to my nephew. That turned out, you know, be 6'2", not stunting the growth, all that bullshit. Right, right. He became a successful athlete. He didn't make it to the next level in sports, but he became a successful businessman. That's mm-hmm. what weight training does for us. It makes us, it makes us dedicated. It makes us, it make, it, it's what it is. You, you know, you dieting, Excellent. training, Excellent. you just can't do it. It sounds easy, but it makes you a stronger, better person. So with that, you carry that through your life experience and then he, you know, now he's in business. He's successful. He carried all those things with him. And now, you know, I, the book should be read by all kinds of kids because it doesn't stunt your growth. It doesn't slow you down. It doesn't do all this bullshit. It makes you a better athlete. It makes you faster, stronger, bigger. It's nutrition. It's, it's so much. So everything I document is in there. So I say, hey, selling books now with social media, you know, the world is the limit. I get, it, it, it's not, money doesn't motivate me. I would rather help 
kids, right. kids, I was a school teacher. Kids still come up to a kid, ran in today, thank me for being a good teacher. <laughs> I, I was a nut. He was a nut. We're all nuts. But, you know, we had a good feeling. And I, I set an example. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't potty. I could look at your son or your daughter and say, oh, you don't drink. I don't drink at all. So I have no problem. I want to set an example. So I want the kids to know that you can you can be successful in something if you all, all get these traits early age. And this is all done through weight training, I believe. So, yes, the book is available. You just download it for free. The parents and kids can read it. It's it. I don't know. To me, it's a good read. I have another little nephew coming up. I haven't hit him with it yet, but he's going to be the next generation where right. I will do more functional training where I, I have my nephew do powerlifting at you know, 15, looking back, eh, maybe, maybe not squatting 500 at 15, but the next one will be more <laughs> functional for athleticism rather than, you know, training. I think it's great. You know, my son is obviously only two and a half, but, you know, I'm already thinking, all right, when, when are we going to get him into Little League and, and, and football and, and all this? And obviously, you know, weight training and eating properly is going to be a big part of his, of his program. And I think it's for, you know, I obviously have a lot of experience in this, but, you know, for the average yes. parent, they don't know anything about this stuff. So that's no. a great book for them to, to be able to download for free go through and, and use what they want out of the book and at least not feel like they're lost and they're not misguiding their kids, you know? And, it, you know, it, it's it's documented. It's not just some someone reading it and telling you yeah. this. It's documented. I've, I've been on studies at Tufts University on protein. I've done it all. So I'm giving you my experience, right. some knowledge, but more experience on experimentation and the outcome is, is, is where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. You cannot compete today in any sport if you do not weight train. I agree. I, I Absolutely. Agree. Yeah, I agree. You know, you're way behind. If you don't start young in the guy that is a stronger, faster, dedicated, determined guy will outbeat just a talented who does nothing. Coaches don't even want them anymore. No, I know. You're right. You know, back when we were kids, we did push-ups and, and pull-ups and sit-ups and stuff like that. But now weight training is, 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 this, is the thing. And you're right. It gives these kids an advantage because they're stronger. And, you know, they're, they're more powerful in the field. They're more explosive. And let's face it, that's what, you know, athletics is all about, having those, those traits. So I think it's a great service you're doing. And uh, the, the website is what, stevecardillo.com? No, my, my website is Cardillo USA. Okay, Cardillo USA. I'll, you know, I'll be pumping it up on I'll be pumping on social media. I got a lot of celebrities going to be kind of throwing it out there. A lot of athletes will be throwing it out there just because, like I said, I'm all, I don't want any money. I was going to try to get a dollar for charity, but I'll give charity in other ways, which I usually do. But right. the belt is, I mean, the book is strictly free. I, I just want kids to be comfortable and their parents to be comfortable so that, it, it, it's, it's just good. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's just the way it should be. They should, you know, they should be able to feel comfortable about it because parents are concerned about stunting and growth and all the other stuff. Steve, a final question. How many belts do you think you've sold in the last 32 years? Oh God, man. We can't go that. We can't go down there. A lot of belts. Just the Reebok deal alone was good enough. Over 10,000? <laughs> oh, way, uh, way more than 10,000. Wow. All right. I, when I was with Reebok, I was in 13 of the major chains. Oh, Change, wow. Athens, Donham, Sports Authority, all the big boys. I didn't so even realize that. that. Was, and that was five years into the business. So I parlayed a little bit and just kept it going. Congratulations, Steve, on all your business uh, acumen and accomplishments. And uh, thanks for always supporting uh, Species Nutrition and the RX Muscle website. And uh, we'll get you back again. We'll uh, get some more updates on what's going on in your life. And uh, you're an interesting guy, and uh, the fans love you. I really, I really, you know, I really appreciate you. The show, I appreciate you having me on. I, I love your products and uh, anything you need from me. And what we'll do is we will have a giveaway with the species belt when this is ears. We'll be, oh. we'll be good to go. All right. How are we going to do that? What, how can people win that thing? Well, they're going to go to my uh, Cadillo Weight Belts Instagram. Right. And there'll be a whole thing. Basically, just simply just follow both of us, put a comment on your waist size, and I pick one person who's deserving of uh, – of the belt, and that's how you get them. And I All right, I there have, you go. Yeah, Guys, it doesn't get much better than that. That species to... belt is up for grabs. Hit the Cardillo yep. Instagram and uh, make sure you put your waist size up there. Put a picture of yourself up. Tell us how much you love the Cardillo belts, and you might receive a free species nutrition, one-of-a-kind green belt. So, Steve, I, thanks for coming everything. on. I, appreciate you I taking time. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. All right, and that's going to take us day. to the end Thank of you. another episode of Live With, brought to you by Species Nutrition. Visit speciesnutrition.com. I'm Dave Palumbo, and we'll see you next time.